as we head into winter, it's time to start thinking about looking after your skin in the cold weather. Sarah Jussel's here with all you need to know. Good morning to you. Good morning. Before the clotted cream, you've got face cream. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I mean, both would work, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> no, Holly, absolutely <laughs> not. Right. Uh, so, winter, skin gets really dry, dehydrated. We go from turning up... Have you turned your heating up yet? Yeah, mm. did. Go from that to outside you're cold again, in the office it's hot, and your skin just hates it. So what we need to do is just be really kind to our skin, start looking after it with lots of hydrating properties. So we've got Clinique here. This is called Take the Day Off. OK. Because you've got to take the day <laughs> off. So, lots of cleansers makes your skin feel quite tight and mm -hmm. drying. If I just show you, it looks solid, but if you just touch that... Oh, it's like it's quite oily, isn't it? So, what you would do is that it's going to break down all your eye makeup, yeah. all your makeup on your face, so it's, it is the lazy person's cleanser. OK. You're right with the smell? Oh, very it's, nice smell. It's fragrance-free. Can I oh, smell? Oh, that's why. Yeah, but it's a good thing, Phil, because fragrance mm. really irritates a lot of people's skin. So, right. fragrance is only in there just to... Make it look Smell nice, nice. Yeah, yes, yeah. but not okay. to um, not good for the no skin. No benefit. Okay, I'm easily wounded by <laughs> yeah. a smell. Yeah, me too, actually. What's this one? Right, so we're going to move on to moisturisers now. Curel. Curel. Curel is the Curel. number one Japanese brand, for, skincare brand for dry and sensitive skin. So oh. a lot of people, when it comes to moisturiser in winter, think I need the richest, oiliest cream to really hydrate. And actually, what you need is something that's not going to leave your face greasy, not going to let your makeup slip and slide, and not going to make you too shiny, and not going to make you break out. So, right. Curel. This is a water-based moisturiser, so it's go it's really brilliant for sensitive skin. And what I've actually done here is I've brought you the Avengel and the Curel moisturiser, so you can see the difference in textures there. Yeah, so that one is more jelly-like. Yes. And that one's more... And that is just personal preference. But what these both have, if I show you guys... Am I mm -hmm. holding a hand, or shall I let go? That's all right. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, just can tilting I just it forward. Yes, of course. I want you to feel... So that's the Curel. Yes, and then okay. that's the jelly. Oh, that's... A... You see, it's it like a bouncy. Wanna, and off. either or, they're both excellent for hydration. And it's worth just looking. When you look at the ingredients, the first thing is water. Oh, they both mm -hmm. smell nice. Yeah. Well. I like how, much, how much are you? How much are so you, we have got the Curel is <laughs> water with lots of great hydrating ingredients. This is 1950 and this is 15. Right. Okay. They smell nice actually. Yeah. That it one, doesn't feel greasy. That and sticky. one. That one. That's the feels nicer. Yeah. That Somehow. under moisture, that under makeup is a dream. Yeah, yeah. It's really not nice. going to affect makeup. Okay. Moving on to Alpha H. Now, I always think this name is ridiculous. It's called Liquid Gold. Oh. But what this basically does is it's your overnight peel. So before you go to bed, you're going to drop a few bits onto your cotton pad and use it, and it breaks down... Essentially, imagine glue um, sticking together the dry skin. It's going to break down the glue just to take uh, away all so it's dryness like an and flakiness. overnight exfoliator. Exactly. What is it? Is it gold? I want it to be Absolutely gold. Absolutely not gold oh, at it's all. Not it's gold transparent. At all. I know. Let's the team down. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. But it is excellent. Use it once a week, and it's just going to give you that. It's sort of like your mini facial that you would do at home. Okay. So active ingredients. Do you guys know what, what we mean when we say active ingredients? Because it's a real no, industry stuff. term. But active ingredients essentially stuff that does things. Does things. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Clever stuff. That feels that like that things. wasn't that hard. <laughs> no, it's so active ingredients. It. It has a function to fix something, so it's going to fix acne. It's going to work on pigmentation, dark spots. Right. Lots of people avoid actives during the summer because your, your skin gets more sensitive to the sun in the yes. summer. So now is the time to introduce your active ingredients. It's what all dermatologists will say, that they'll see people coming in with post-summer pigmentation. Now is the time to tackle it because we've got sadly got less sunlight. Yes, OK. So we have got a vitamin C here. So this is revolution, and vitamin C can go up in price massively. This is £10, so really affordable vitamin C. Best way I can describe vitamin C, if you leave a chair outside and you don't protect it, and it rains, it will rust. Same way with your face. If you don't protect it, you're going to get dark spots, you're going to get pigmentation from it. So you do need to protect it from the elements. And that's where vitamin C comes in. Use it in the morning under your moisturiser and SPF, and it is just going to brighten and lighten the dark spots, mm. and it's going to help pre prevent more from coming. Can I ask a question? Yes. If I can remember what it was. <laughs> Why can't you eat vitamin C? Can you not just eat the it? The whole point with it... Not... The... It, vitamin C is great for your health, but yeah, if but you want it, it not no, it's not going to help your skin. You've got to. Didn't like that smell either. No, it's all right. right. It's okay. It's it smells okay. like an active ingredient. It smells, it smells like, like an active. Yeah, like smell, it's doing something. It, it, like, it's active Look, in my hand. All those dark spots, they're going. <laughs> yeah, on the palm of my hand. Look, I've not a single dark spot on the palm of my hand. How long before the dark spots have gone? You know, I think you need to 
Everyone is different, but yeah. go from a month to three months. See how your skin reacts to it. It's really careful. You've got to be so careful with these. Try it, see how your skin reacts, and then keep going. Okay. Azelaic acid. Right, don't know what that is. No one, not no one, lots of people have never heard of it. I think it's skincare royalty. It's the unsung hero really? of the skincare world. We've only it just is... learned about hyaluronic. We've moved on to azelaic, I'm afraid. Oh, we move quickly right. here, Phil. Right, gosh, that's <laughs> okay. keep... So, azelaic acid is... The absolute dream ingredient for acne scarring, rosacea prone, redness, um, pores, everything. It's, it's a really, really brilliant ingredient and you would use it in the morning under your moisturiser um, and your SPF. So, Can I ask you then? Yes. Am I waking up and putting vitamin C on? Am I asking No, acid? you're choosing what you need for your skin. So if, right. you've got, if you've got acne scarring and you want to tackle it, you would use this, say, on a Monday. If you've got dark spots, you could try that on a Thursday. So you don't use all of them every day. OK, I understand. Yes, and also I would just say introduce one at a time. Right. Don't go and buy everything. You don't have Pick to, the thing. You don't, if you've got acne scarring, then you can you could put that on. You don't have to put moisturiser and stuff or... or, or or well, you need your SPF. Your you need your SPF under your makeup well, because even this time of the year. If you're using this, yeah, because it makes your skin more sensitive. So if the sun is shining, you're still it's still affecting your skin. Mm. You do need SPF. Minefield. Um, and then just to finish, we've got retinoids here. So if you have heard, you know, retinoids, that is the, the one that I think everyone does hear mm -hmm. a lot about. This is Skin SkinCeuticals. Um, it's, it says 0 0.3, but what I think everyone needs to know at home is this is excellent for beginners. It's got lots of hydrating ingredients. So it's not going to dry your skin out as well as... And a retinol does what? It. This is what dermatologists call the gold standard ingredient for a little bit of everything. Anti-aging, oh. pores, fine lines, dark spots. Okay. It's like you're all in one, but you've got to build it up very slowly. OK. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much.